Hello there my friends and welcome to Star Wars Comics, where today we tackle the newest Windu comic issues that came out last year and have a look at one of the most significant events that happened to Mace Windu during the Clone Wars. It is a confrontation that he had with a fellow Jedi that is most intriguing and to be quite honest, I would have loved to have seen this in the Clone Wars series back when it was on. This seems like a perfect Clone Wars episode that would tackle issues within the Jedi's own belief system and and their order. During the early stages of the Clone Wars, the Confederacy attempted to establish themselves in the Outer Rim territories before they moved towards the galactic capital. One perfect example was the planet Hisrich, where a large number of vessels were suddenly sent. Jedi Master Mace Windu was tasked by the Jedi Council to travel to Hisrich and determine what the Separatists' purpose was. Therefore, Windu assembled a covert team of Jedi, consisting of himself, Kit Fisto, Prosset Dibs, and Risa Mano. While investigating, they came upon the real reason for the Separatists' interest in this particular planet, to mine the planet for its energy resources, the amount of which could turn the war in the Separatists' favor. While the first two comics are mostly about the Jedi discovering the truth while fighting the Separatist droids and a mercenary droid, for the purposes of this video we will jump to issue number 3 where it all comes together. At this point, Master Dibs had already made up his mind that in this war, the Republic, the Jedi, and the Separatists are one and the same. After seeing what the Separatists are doing in this planet and what the Republic then intends to do, gives him a firm belief that the Jedi should have never agreed to this war. He accuses Windu and the others that this is not for freedom, but this is a power grab that the Council fights for themselves and not peace. After countless of accusations, Mace Windu, with an amused face, simply asks Dibs, are you finished? Taking this as an insult, Master Dibs punches Windu square in the face. He was done with Windu's mockery. Dibs ignited his lightsaber as he prepared to solve this issue the hard way. Windu tells him that if he knows better than the Jedi Council, then come, let them find out who is right. As they fought, Windu still made sure he heard the truth the truth that Dibs would call lies instead. There was no turning back. The Jedi Masters went back and forth and towards the end, Dibs told Windu that he would cut ties with the Jedi Order. He would now forge his own path. It was hard for Windu to hear that the fellow Jedi would now be a deserter. However, in the end, Mace Windu took Dibs down by using the Force and pointed his purple lightsaber at the Jedi Master, prepared to finish him. At that moment, he would recollect his young and eager days, where his master would stop him from killing a false Jedi prophet. Those words from the past stopped him from doing the same thing he was tempted to do now. In the end, Mace decided to take Dibs before the Jedi Council and they would decide his fate. Ultimately, he was found guilty of treason and although Dibs expected to be put to death, Windu implored his colleagues to be merciful. And so because of this, he was simply put to rehabilitation and spared from death. I know you guys will have a lot of thoughts on this. This subject is so complex that I don't think a simple issue would solve it. So in the next video, I would like to tackle Windu's younger days that we see with his master and their journey to an overtaken Jedi temple on a far out planet. Let me know if you guys want that covered and did you enjoy this one as well. As always guys, Thanks for the support and love, much appreciated, and lastly, of course, may the Force be with you, always.